Hey guys, it's Aaron from Odd Couple Travel here. I'm about to head off up north to a little town called Port Denison, which is about four hours from Perth. Candice is gonna pop along in a few days and meet me up there. <laughs> We're here at Canterbury Roadhouse, uh, about halfway to Dongra. Um, there's two ways to get to Dongra. You can go up the coast road or you can come up the Brand Highway, which is the old way. Only a few minutes longer, but we've been coming here since I was a kid. For sentimental reasons, they still come this way. Good thing we did stop off here. The guy's got a flat on the trailer. This is home sweet home for the next two weeks. Camping in this gazebo tent, they're a brilliant idea. Quite a nice little spot for the next couple of weeks to chill out. We just spent about an hour fishing using a combination of poppers and mules. We wound up with nine good sized tails. The largest one there is 47 centimetres. It wasn't hard fishing. You can use light gear like I did, but be careful because one of those big ones there destroyed my reel when he hit the popper. Here we are on the home reef at Dongra. You can wander on the reef here looking at these rock pools. Two steps off the beach. Let's see what we can get, shall we? There's a sea urchin. Some people like eating them, I've never tried it. There's a little crab here. Hang on, here he is. Now I've got lunch. We're heading through the bush to a spot on South Beach um, to go fishing for the evening. The beach itself is usually pretty good to drive on, but every now and then the tide comes in too far and you won't be able to drive up to it. There's all these little holes all the way along there in the trenches where you can catch mulloway and small sharks, even cobia, and some really big tail. Heading up the dunes to get out, and we've had to dig down to about this deep to get the tires back because we wound up off. After the ordeal of getting bogged out there in 10 mile shack and having to drop tire pressures down, uh, it's really handy to have one of these. I've got the uh, XTM compressor. Uh, it does about 160 litres a minute, so it's a very good compressor. And, uh, instead of having to try and find a petrol station or similar, you can, you can fill things up yourself. You just pop her on there, flip the switch, and away you go. It's four days of being here, Anderson's finally made it up, which I'm excited about. I too am thrilled to be here. Yeah, cheers. Less than thrilled. It's about quarter past five. I've been awake pretty much all night, but I gave up at 3.30 trying to sleep because I had a massive headache. First night's sleep pretty much lived up to my camping expectations. But we were getting up to uh, look at the sunrise anyway. <laughs> <laughs> There's a bit of cloud around, um, so that's great too. Look how clear the water is. I am currently sitting on the rocks waiting for Aaron to come back because he left his boots at camp. <laughs> Looking good. If you're someone who likes to eat oysters, you get the fresh ones straight off the rocks here. Wow! Oh, you turned around. Ah! Surge. It was only like three meters deep. Yeah, like 28 meters at least. <laughs> I have a tasty morsel. Have a delicious sushi, salt and pepper, and ginger flavored. <laughs> well, what I'll do tomorrow then is I'll bring the spear gun as well when we go scuba diving. Yeah. So we've traveled a little bit down the ways. We were just over there before and we've gone all the way around here. I've never been down this way before. Yeah, check out this one. You look at it, you're just like floating in the water. It's about a half a dozen cranes. We're down here at Leander Reef, which is just north of the uh, harbour. It's all the pop in and we're going to go on the scuba gear.
up on the cray fishing. Pretty much the entire time my goggles were fogged up, I almost missed a stingray count as pointed out. It was only about a few weeks ago. Did you put contact in? I didn't have contact lenses either, so yeah. I couldn't really was behind the craze on it. Ended up giving up and just grabbing one by hand. <laughs> it turned out to be too small, so. Oh, well, what do you do? If we're in a cray fishing town, I'm sure I can buy one for a dollar. Drive out into the, some property of people we know and do some shooting. sweet home and I am so happy to be here. I just don't like the person I am when I'm camping. I'm always in a bad mood. Glad to be home and have my creature comforts restored and looking forward to both my boys being home in two days. Went for a second dive. I finally managed to get that crayfish of mine, even if it was a bit hard work. We also went down tonight for a second go of crabbing and, and pulled up a crab, so we'll have a, a little bit of an entree before we have our steaks for dinner tonight. So that brings our trip to an end. Uh, we popped down here for our last day for the evening to have a little beer at Southern. The best thing about this pub is it's pooch friendly, so you can bring your best mate along. As you've seen, there's plenty to see and do in this little town. So I'd suggest you pop up here and have a look around. Bye.